Well, hey, ladies and gents, guys and gals, welcome back to Mountain Hill for what's part 43. As you can see here, we're going to sit, um, sit in the field of oats, ready to harvest. Both harvesters are here, but before we get on with that, yeah, um, you can see the war chest I have up in the corner, or the amount of money. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, always goes to auto save, doesn't it? If I go down to our finances screen here, and if I scroll down, you can see that you know, 108,000, 400, 1,000, uh, yeah, 7,986,000. That was the big part of it. That was a lot of stuff from the warehouse. I was trying to build up uh, a, a bit of money. I didn't realize I was going to get so much money from selling all that stuff, but hey, I did. And I'm going to get around today to uh, doing something I've been threatening to do for the last couple of episodes, which is uh, green carts. So let's um, let's go ahead and start looking at some things here. Um, I think if I can find where they are, I'm going to use a mother bin. I think I want busters, don't I? Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, okay, that, they're they're big. Um. Yeah, that's definitely big. Hundred forty thousand liters, <laughs> or five hundred thousand liters for Jeffrey. Okay, we'll go with two hundred eighty-one thousand liter liters. We'll go on to. Of course, we're going to put a logo on it. Uh, we're going to stick with the case. Uh, body color, black. Uh, cover color, we'll do, we'll leave it at black, yeah. Uh, rim color, black, yeah, okay. Oh, the hub color stays green. Oh, well. Uh, I believe, what does this take? It takes 300 horse parter on this, so let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, 300 horse par. It's going to be a large tractor, isn't it? I... What we haven't done yet is used any masses. Should we use some masses? I don't think there is any masses that's going to get me 300 horsepower though, is there? Uh, what's the 8S give us? That's the 7S. Where is the 8S then? There's an 8S there, look. 305 horsepower, just enough. Uh, so, see... Da, do we have any modern versions of that? Well, they're in large tractors, okay. Um, they're on our medium tractors. We do have one, yeah. Uh, 325. 325, okay. 325. Uh, okay, we're getting some uh, errors, but that one seems to work. We'll go with that. C, Nokian, BKT, white tires and weights, why not? Nah, none of them. Front loader don't need it. We'll bump that right up to give us 325 then. GPS, just for the fun of it. We'll leave all the colors the same. Apart from that, uh, no, black's horrible. Uh, that's nice looking. Okay, let's go with that. Right, and that's going to be going to field number... What field to be in? Uh, we'll say, we'll call it field 14 for the fun of it. So let's go ahead, let's get our U, bounce into that. Still haven't moved that cedar look.
we'll just say take that to field 14. Let's see how that handles actually, because I don't know if it's going to do it or not. I've went ahead and deleted every one of the course play courses, and I'm only starting to use ones that we, uh, yeah, we, we set up from now on, because we've all got bigger fields, and most of the fields are joined together, so um, let's go with that. Okay, that, that actually doesn't turn too bad. Hey, it's quite smart. Anyway. Now we need a couple of mother bins, or not a mother bins, we need a couple of grain carts. So let's go ahead, uh, let's look at our grain carts, which are somewhere in here. Um, what are they called? Auger wagons. Auger wagons they're called in this game, aren't they? Yeah, there they are. Um, hmm. I've got quite a few. Oh, Kuhlman. Yeah. Oh, we could have had that. That needs 500 horsepower for that. That needs 400 horsepower. We don't have 400 horsepower. I'll take a bloody big tractor. That's 300. We could probably get away with a few of those, actually. buy two of these. Okay. And we're going to need tractors then. And I'm thinking, a couple more Massies, but might as well keep it in that. Might as well keep the Massies going, yeah. So let's go ahead and have a look. Where do we see them? Might as well keep the same tractors. And BKT will do with weights. Wise and weights. No, don't need it. Bump it right up. GPS, yeah, I'm gonna buy two of them. And we're gonna send these to field 14 as well. these work with auto drive and course play and all the rest of it but um, I guess we'll find out.
Oh, sorry guys. Um, yeah, for some reason my mic was on mute. So, we've got our... Uh, we've got our... Mother bin there. So I'm going to call this point here, field 14. Uh, chaser bin with. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to... This is setting this up now, I remember, for, uh, for, uh, auto drive to run the chaser bin. This is okay. So I'm going to drive ahead of it. Of that. Okay. No, back, back, back. Make sure that the point I want is connected to that point. Yep. I'm going to record a single place course. Why is that not connecting? Okay, that's connected up. Our other tractor has kindly pushed us ahead a bit, which doesn't really matter because I wanted uh, to bring this out anyway. And I am going to call this here. I uh, need to bring it in so the auger wagon goes over the top of that. Hopefully that's far enough in. I'm going to drive past. Remember with auto drive, you always drive past because it's smart enough to to know when it's it's got the proper uh, you know trigger point, and I'm going to call this. No, sorry, wrong one. I'm going to call this uh, field fourteen chaser bin unload like that, and because auto drive doesn't uh, auto drive doesn't like close or an, an end a sharp end of the circuit like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right on back round like so I'm going to connect it back up here with chaser bin weight. Okay. So, close that. That should be auto drive set up for that. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go to empty the combine. Field 14. And we are going to unload at field 14 chaser bin unload. And no, it's not field 14. It's going to be field 14 chaser bin weight. Is that right? Drive. Okay, it doesn't notice any combines with that name, that's okay. That's because we haven't set the combines up yet. Let's take you off of auto drive, because, or, er, uh, off of that. And I'm only going to run one chaser bin right now. Um, just to see our cups with two combines. We'll have the second one, you know, because we have more fields to harvest anyway, so we, uh, probably will use this for another field. Let's just set you up there. As you can see, I've uh, harvested the grass field. So let's run across your combines. Okay, so I'm going to change you to field 14 chaser bin weight. What I'm going to do is, while, while I've got the edit open, okay, I'm going to open the default. And I'm going to move that to there. And I'm going to move... That to there, field 14, yeah. Uh, let's just clear some of this up. Production, forestry seed refill. That will go all the way down to number yard for, for a bit of crack. Uh, caviar goods, and that goes to productions. That will go to central storage. That will go to central storage. Might as well clean this up while we're here. Fish farm, that's production. Don't know what that is. 
Animal Farm multi liquid tank. We got Animal Farm. Okay, <coughs> so that's that all done. So I need to go to field 14 now, and it's Chaser Pin Wait, I believe. Let's just rename that one. Field 14, Chaser Pin Wait. Okay. Jump back in the first combine, and we're going to create a course for this. Then, so let's do the course. There's going to be uh, two tools. It's going to be two headlands. Um, I'm going to keep it sharp. I think sixty foot. Okay, so generate that. That should come up over here. Yeah. So close that. Let's go ahead, go into the course play save function. We're going to create ourselves field 14. So create a new folder, field 14. And we are going to save the course in there as field 14, 60 foot harvest times two. And I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. Somebody called at the front door. Uh, so, okay, we're saving that course. So we're going to put you on uh, first waypoint. No. First waypoint, you're on the left, so that's good. Go ahead. Let's get this one up. So you are going to be put onto that course as well. Save the content, yeah. See when you have the auto drive edit up, it shows you all your courses around the map, that's pretty cool. Uh, that one there, load it. You're going to be... Why, why that? Oh, I didn't load it properly, did I? Load 14, load activate, that's what I needed to do. Uh, first waypoint on the right. Go! Should we it now? No. I thought that the convoy thing was automatically activated, or did that change? Oh no, convoy distance there, so... So if we jump into here... Whenever one of them needs emptied, because this is on a field, it's, it's ready to go. So it shouldn't take long for those combines to, to fill. I don't hope, well, hold on, it's out, so it might take a bit. Um, while that's happening, let's go ahead and we'll jump down to... I uh, don't need the auto drive up there. Uh, see, a truck and a trailer set up. It's too big of a trailer. I'll just drop that off here. Before we go, I want to go back to that Guinness factory for a bit. Uh, yeah, it's quite meh. Oh well. Meh. Uh, oh, here, hold on. Bergman will do. Let's get you out. On the road, we'll send it to... We'll send this to farm too, because I don't want to collide in that mother bin anymore. So, you go ahead, mate, and you make your trip to... farm too. Uh, where are we at with the combines? There we are. It's taking its time to fill. We'll have to put the uh, two 
collection insight on this as well. Did I skip that bit of the map yet? I think this is maybe something to do with the map. Because the combine the combines will skip some fruit every now and again. Maybe. Try the different headers. I don't know. Maybe something to do with the length of them and the you know the uneven ground or something. Maybe they don't have that auto tilt function or something. Well, it looks like they do on that function there. Um, yeah. It's nice to see a couple of combines going in the field. I mean, we'll probably end up doing you know. A lot more than two on a field at some stage, but it's nice that they actually get a couple of combines going again on a field inside a big field. What I'll do here is I'll pause the recording and I'll come back then whenever uh, we're sort of nearly at the stage for hopefully the auger wagon to work. Oh, hello, pipes coming out. Oh, oh. Tops come off. Okay, we're rolling, we're rolling. We're rolling. See, I'm, I'm quite thinking that this is going to take quite a bit to fill this. Every now and again, it stops and recalculates what it's doing. Don't need the course play window up for this. Yeah, there we go. At least, it, at least it's recognised the uh, the call of put that up and right. Where, where are you going? Okay, so the first one has, or is, no, it's still rolling. Is it just because it's in the car crop, maybe? There we go. Yeah, we're chasing it now. Low enough it should fit underneath the pipe, shouldn't be any need to adjust this for uh what do you do? Why why whoa 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 reversing from combine, why? Oh, it's going to Why has that not stopped that one? Oh, it has stopped. No, it's continued. Look, that other one keeps going. I thought there was c the, the the distance was on here. Right. You've got the call. You, you get two calls here. Which one? Are you? Yeah, you should go to the first one first. Yeah. And it's not. Look, it's gonna go to the second one first. <laughs> Uh, okay. Unload is nice. Not the fastest in the world, but it's working. Tires may be a problem in that. Right in front of that one is taken off again. Or will it reverse? It should reverse out of the way, shouldn't it? These things aren't really set up for 60 foot headers, but hey. It's working. 
pretty well to me. What time was left in there? Okay, should be ready to move on. Okay. So the problem is here, I've got the call from the second combine at the same time as the first one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. That would be good. No, don't drive into the river. Don't drive into the river. No, no. Oh, my God. I've seen that coming. It's gonna go around again into the river, isn't it? No, okay. Maybe need these two to uh look you're not getting underneath it that way, don't be stupid. What I'm gonna do here is this uh combine settings, where is it? No, it's in this one. No, I'm in the wrong one. I need to run to the combine for that. I think the combine settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the uh, distance here of the convoy distance. I'm going to increase that to 100. That that should work better for that. Of course, you, you just jump in the wee auto save there. You feel free. Okay. And while that's doing this thing, I'm going to see him with this one. Okay, um, that's the reason this is getting into this, because it's too close together. So let's just turn you back out of the way. So that's good, that's doing that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to this farm here. This is farm two, so let's just visit, visit that. Our truck should be here, yep. Take the cover off. And then what I'll do is I'll go back around here, because this is where this is. So if I come under here. This is why I was wanting a big enough sort of verge, uh, a big enough headland here, so I can manage this part of it. If not, I was going to move it down to the bottom of the field. Um, so if I bring this up again, and off of this course, uh, say, that one there is good enough, I'll do. I am going to go ahead and go my course. And If I can pull this underneath that pipe, like so. I'm going to 
past. Okay, and then I'm going to call this uh, Field 14 Overload Truck. Okay. And then I'm just going to connect that back with that. There. So now I'll set this up as I'm going to load. Let's shut all this down again. So I can move that into field 14. Field 14, overload truck. And we're emptying at the farm silo. So that's the animal farm silo dump. And this is oats. Okay, and we know that the other part of that works. We know that uh, the dump part works because we've used it before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly reverse back to here. I'm going to keep it here for the time being, just on this part of the course. But what I want to do here is this part of the auto drive course here I thought was a wee bit steep, so I'm going to move it into there. Okay, and I'm just going to put it forward to here for the time being. Making sure that I'm out of the way of... Yeah, I'm out of the way of the waiting point, if that, once that empties. Let's jump back into this. Oh, oh, we're going to empty. What? Feel what? Why did you do that? It's... F feel 14... Chaser bin, wait, that's what we're doing. Go. Okay, it should be going to empty by now. Let's just go ahead and hit that. Uh, I've stopped it, that's why. I was in the vehicle whenever I went to that waypoint, which automatically changes that first, uh, first bin there. Right, so we're heading across the field. At a very slow pace. I'm going to stick around until I uh, make sure this works, guys, so just to show you that I can do this. Because um, this is the first time I've actually done this. I didn't test it out earlier on. thought, no, what I'll do is I'll wait, and if I make mistakes, you can all laugh at me. But it looks as if it's going to work, so you don't have to laugh, eh? So it's going to go to the waypoint. Let's bring up the auto drive network just to watch and see what it's doing. Okay, there's going to the wait. Oh, now we're driving to the unknown part. Covers open. Auger's being extended. And it's filling. Happy days. Uh, we'll probably not see the first bit in that because it's quite a big bin. Yeah, you can just about see it filling there. You see it? it keeps moving forward a wee bit. I don't know why that is. far away. Well, no, it's empty, and so that's always a good thing. Maybe it's moving. Trigger's right along or so maybe it's just getting all the, all the way down the trigger, maybe. I don't know. Maybe 
I'm just not far enough over. Let's go ahead and just stop that for the time being. Let's move the tractor in the way first of all. And if I move these over a bit. I don't want this to go on with the command. I want to make sure that this is the end of it first. Let's go ahead and hit that. Okay, so it's planning the path. No, 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 no. So it's going to go to the, the chaser bin weight area. And this will see if um, you know the trucks running back to the farm, and hopefully that the combines will not be sitting idle that long. That's the reason behind doing this sort of thing. So extend your auger, yes. It's further over. It's going to stop. Yeah, that that seems better. I need to get further over. Just just further over. That's all. That's all that was needed there. Pull. Okay, so it should go to the trigger, then go back to. Chase have been waiting and go to the combine again, I believe. Yeah, uh, there we are, it's in there. Yeah, it's going to chase have been waiting now. Probably be better to um, give this a big wider turn, but yeah, well, do it now, or possibly get it off the field altogether to let the combine go past if it's coming anywhere near. That's only going to be the first headland anyway, so that's where Chaser Bin waits. Catching up with the combines. Where are you going, man? Drop across! Oh wow, okay. Let's get rid of the uh, auto drive network right there. The combines are. Oh, okay, so it's going to cut across this field to get to the top of this because it comes back on itself there, I believe. No, where are you going, man? I don't know why I went the whole way out there first. Right, well we've seen that working. Now, just to test this, um, I'm going to go ahead and click go. Right, that should start to unfold again any second. Drive to the loading point, yeah. You're not picking up the... Okay, so... That, that's right, yeah. Why is that stopped? Collision or something, maybe. Start us up here. See what's the difference. Okay, so. 
Go. Why did you go in there? No, no, you don't have to go in there. Go. Right here, follow that path, that's it. Turn in there, yeah. Is that baby, is that picking up collision? No way, man. Uh, I'll try that with a different truck. What truck was there? No. Yeah, I'm gonna try that with a different truck, guys. See if it works with a different truck just then. That's a bit rubbish. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, you have the the gist of it now. We have uh, we've definitely got these working to a degree. May crash every now and again, but they are working. Uh, for first attempts, it's uh, maybe a bit messy, but I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. But for the first attempt, I quite think that is uh, decent. Maybe you got yourself a bit with that like that. No, stop. On Stuck on the head or whatever. Eh, uh, maybe too big a heads. Should we do this some smaller headers or something? I don't know. Eh, uh, but yeah. It's definitely working, which is uh, a plus point. And if this works, I could leave. Maybe, uh, 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 maybe leave. Uh, first, okay. I could maybe leave it that the uh, combines are on the go as well with the old car down. Maybe that would be a thing. But as we, you know, you can see it here, it's working. Um, maybe the truck's just picking up the collision and that other thing. Uh, the, the mother bin or something, and that's why it's not getting close to it. And there's no reason it shouldn't work because that's the setup the proper way. Like, I just wish it would go to the first one first, though. That would be more ideal, though. But there you go, guys. Auger bins on the go. Um, I'll probably get uh, a few more auger bins and a few more tractors because uh, we're going to keep our auger fleet masses isn't it because uh, we've got you know bigger fields and stuff to do as well uh, maybe a couple more combines I'll not bother you with buying them on screen I will uh, go ahead and get all that set up for the next episode and I'll see you then bye for now